Alright, it's been a hurricane come through here in South Carolina, so there ain't much that I can do outside. So uh, I got another tank uh, so I can build a, uh, a round big bait tank to hold a lot of bait and a lot of big bait, and especially herring and stuff like that, something that needs, needs a round tank. Uh, now, grant you, eventually I'm going to put another pump in this tank. Just a small pump, like a 50 gallon per hour pump, just to set into the bottom, just to keep the, the water going in a circle. It's not going in a circle right now, because I've got brim in it right now. Uh, I'm gonna keep brim and perch and hair and shad in this. Uh, but let me show you what I've done. The same principles I've done the other one. The other one, the freezer tank. So let me show you, show you what I've done. All right, that is the house day pump right there and the wire is wire tied up to it which goes over to the plug and this is the same principle none of these fittings right here are glued that way you can take it apart and clean it or, or whatever you need to do and uh, i do have a lid on this one and this is the filter system this is just a little old mat place mat actually at the dollar store that you can get and i've got just some filters and sponges down in here and under every bit of that, I've got lava rock. Under all that right there, I've got lava rock. That lava rock right there, you can get over at Lowe's for about $4 a bag. And and uh, I'm probably not going to change the lava rock maybe once a year. $4 a bag, you know, if it ain't going to break you to do it every three or four months. But I'm not going to do it about once a year because you don't need to. But, uh, but I'll clean these filters probably about ever probably a couple of months you know we're gonna wait and see how it keeps it keeps it clean and stuff like that and i've got more filters coming now the lava rock i've got up here at about that high about two inches of lava rock coming up on the bottom of of, of that and i use unistruck which i'm a commercial plumber i use unistruck the scrap pieces that we had at work but which you can get this old clothes you get that right there on close. And uh, that's a three inch blue stone right there. There you the stone. And uh, these little aerators, this right here is for like for 180, I think 120 or 160 gallon. I can't remember, but it's got two spots for it. Them right there will work just fine for tanks this size, just as long as you've got. A filter system like this, this right here is creating air too when it does that. So that right there helps a lot too. So uh, like I say, I'm gonna get another three inch stone to put down in this one. So that right there helps. And I just put me some noodles because everybody knows how fiberglass is when you cut it, the edges and stuff. I cut it with a grinder with a cutting wheel on it and it cut it right off. But I don't like them little fibers. I had to wash the tank out several times you know, before I, I used it. All right, now that house day pump down there that I was talking about, here is the picture of it. And it's an 800 gallon pump. And this is what I use. And uh, I've had these brim in that other tank, but now I put them over in this tank and I've had these bring them over a week now, and they are they are still in in good shape. There's about 30 of them down in there. So uh, that's my my big bait tank there now. Now I just got to take me some bait to put in it. All right, if y'all if y'all like this, uh, hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please please put them below. And uh, I'll answer every question that I can when I can. And uh, it should be pretty quick. I try to stay on top of it. But uh, uh, y'all, uh, I appreciate y'all watching my videos and all that. And I like the people responding and stuff. So, so keep it up. And uh, I appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you.